As we first reported on Action News at 6 o'clock on Monday, cyber criminals have attacked the Delaware County government network, taking it hostage. Action News investigative reporter Chad Perdelli has learned that the criminals are demanding $500,000 to free it up. Chad has more on the investigation and what's likely being done behind the scenes. Sources tell Action News the cyber criminals gained control of the Delaware County network on Saturday, encrypting files including police reports, payroll, purchasing and other databases. Prosecution evidence, however, has not been affected. Sources say the county is in the process of paying the $500,000 ransom as it's insured for such attacks. This is running rampant across the country. Ed McAndrews is a cybercrime attorney and a former federal prosecutor. Local governments and companies often hire law firms like his, DLA Piper, to negotiate with the hackers. The average ransom's gone from $30,000 to upwards of $500,000. That's the average. He says governments often pay because time is of the essence and many hackers have a reputation of freeing databases after being paid in cryptocurrency like Bitcoin which sources say the Delaware County hackers are demanding. The sources say the IP address for the Delaware County attack is tied to the Netherlands, but the criminals could be operating from anywhere in the world. And these are professionals. These are not, you know, your, your recreational criminals here. These Phil Bianco is the chief technology job. officer for the Melillo Group, an IT security firm. He says if the hackers decrypt the county's files, the work is still not over. But you need to really secure your infrastructure and make sure you're not going to be hit again. And Bianco adds that companies and governments need to train their employees better about how these attacks happen and have an incident response plan in place for future attacks. I'm Action News investigative reporter Chad Perdelli, Channel 6 Action News.